Tesla has just unleashed a piece of news that is shaking up the entire electric car world, and what I'm about to tell you could forever change the way we understand electric mobility. We're talking about an aluminum ion battery capable of offering a range of more than 550 miles, a breakthrough that not only promises much faster charging but also a safer system completely free of cobalt or lithium. This isn't a rumor or marketing hype, but a technological leap that has been quietly brewing for years and is now revealed to be a true revolution hiding in plain sight. The most surprising thing is that Tesla's big move isn't a new car model, but the true core of the future, a battery designed to rewrite the rules of the game. If you thought you'd seen it all, stay until the end because what's coming could exceed all expectations. For years, all experts agreed that batteries were the major bottleneck for electric vehicles. The discussion always revolved around lithium, how to charge it faster, how to prevent overheating, how to extend its lifespan a little longer. Each improvement seemed like a small patch, a short step in a race that never ended. But while the world debated minimal solutions and promised breakthroughs that would take years to arrive, something radically different was happening in the most hermetic halls of Tesla's headquarters in Austin, Texas. Behind closed doors, in soundproof laboratories, a select group of engineers was forging an idea that not only challenged established rules, but also created a new playbook for energy on wheels. The spark for this revolution wasn't an accidental discovery, but a bold question, why are we still struggling with the same limits of lithium, facing degradation, thermal overloads, and delayed discharges, instead of completely changing the way energy moves within a battery? That's where aluminum came in, not as a makeshift substitute, but as the key to a new energy era. Its high conductivity and abundance made it a perfect candidate, capable of transferring energy almost instantaneously without bottlenecks. The challenge was to overcome its greatest flaw, ionic blockage, the barrier that prevented energy from being released quickly enough. The solution came when Tesla developed a revolutionary substrate, a blend of graphene with atomic scale induction points, which gave rise to what they called, instant quantum discharge. The result was a flow of power on demand, with no delays, no loss of intensity, a leap as radical as going from an old-fashioned telephone connection to fiber optics, but applied to powering a vehicle. With this, electric cars have gone from being just a matter of autonomy to becoming machines of pure power, capable of delivering brutal force in fractions of a second. And most impressively, this breakthrough is already working, not in laboratory prototypes, but in full-size modules, installed in test vehicles traveling on private roads while the rest of the industry is still chasing the shadows of lithium. Inside Tesla's high-voltage testing lab, there was data that was never meant to be made public, but the information eventually leaked, leaving the industry breathless. What those numbers revealed wasn't just a breakthrough, it was a quantum leap. They were talking about a capacity of 7,000 watts per kilogram, a value five times greater than that offered by Tesla's current 468 lithium cells. This could no longer be considered a conventional battery, rather, it was a contained explosion, tamed and unleashed through software-controlled pulses so precise and rapid that they rivaled direct fuel injection, yet with a stability and repeatability unthinkable in today's electric world. These new aluminum ion cells didn't deform under pressure, didn't require cryogenic systems to keep them cool, and, surprisingly, they performed better the higher the temperature. While lithium batteries began to deteriorate at 40 degrees Celsius and reached dangerous thermal runaway points near 60, Tesla's aluminum cells showed their peak performance at 85 degrees. The secret was that energy transfer didn't depend on heat, but on a pulse resonance controlled by a new management system called QBC, or quantum burst control. This not only managed power, but shaped it in real time, delivering energy precisely and sustainably. Even after 10,000 complete charge and discharge cycles, internal reports showed no perceptible drop in performance, not even 1%. That meant more than 25 years of daily use without losing acceleration, range, or power. For Tesla, this wasn't a reason to boast, it was an essential requirement, because the battery wasn't designed for a luxury vehicle or an exclusive model costing more than $120,000. The goal was entirely different, to create a new category of electric car accessible to everyone. The project, known internally as Redwood and soon to be released publicly under the name Model 2, promised the unthinkable, a price under $16,000, more than 550 miles of range, and a full charge in just 5 minutes. And it wasn't a future projection or a laboratory concept, it was already a reality demonstrated at the company's closed events, with fourth-generation charging stations capable of using quantum pulse modulation to go from 0 to 100% in the time it takes to drink a cup of coffee. The first journalists invited to test the pre-production units didn't know what technology was hidden in that compact electric car, but they realized it as soon as they stepped on the accelerator, 
the car launched itself like a silent missile, reaching 100 km per hour in just over 3 seconds, without faltering, without reducing power, without overheating as happens with other high-end electric cars. Where a Porsche Taycan needed to cool down after a few launches and a BMW i4 was limited to 50 degrees, the aluminum Tesla kept delivering power again and again, tirelessly and brutally. The real shock wasn't discovering that Tesla had created a better battery, but rather realizing that it had managed to make it cheap, scalable, and ready for immediate production. While other traditional manufacturers continue to struggle to sell $60,000 electric vehicles with half-hour charging times and fragile chemicals dependent on conflict minerals, Tesla is on the verge of flooding the market with a $15,000 vehicle capable of charging in minutes, without critical materials, with cells manufactured 100% in-house, and using resources 10 times more abundant than lithium. The company ignored the lithium cobalt race, betting on an element so common that it had until now gone unnoticed, and that decision could redefine the future of electric cars much sooner than the industry expected. It wasn't that this element lacked power, but rather that it was ubiquitous, so common that no one considered it capable of sparking a revolution, until now. Aluminum, the third most abundant element on the planet, light, strong, and 100% recyclable, was always within reach, but for decades it was dismissed by the scientific community as a battery material. They called it unstable, too reactive, too basic to compete with lithium. However, Tesla's latest chemical move broke that paradigm by implementing a crystalline structure reinforced with graphene-like modifiers. Instead of weakening with use, the aluminum core grew stronger, each charge tightened its internal network, activating it rather than deteriorating it, something that until now seemed impossible. This new design not only eliminated the need for lithium, but also erased cobalt, nickel, and rare earth elements, expensive materials dependent on vulnerable supply chains, often with enormous human and environmental costs. Instead, Tesla opted for aluminum refined in the United States, treated with artificial intelligence-optimized ionic layers that self-organized under load, adjusting their conductivity in real time. But the real revolution was what was previously considered the number one enemy of batteries, heat. Where lithium cells die and lose efficiency in extreme temperatures, aluminum ones wake up and become more conductive. No risk of fire, no dangerous swelling, just pure energy efficiency that thrives under extreme conditions, from scorching deserts to high-speed racetracks, where pressure and heat were allies, not threats. In a context where the global lithium supply is beginning to collapse under geopolitical tensions, this breakthrough wasn't just a technological victory, it was a strategic coup that could shift the balance of global energy power, and Tesla seemed to be the only company ready to wield this new weapon. Then came the moment no one believed possible, the one the most skeptical of electric cars used as their main argument, charging time. It was always the same story, EVs are good, but I don't want to wait 40 minutes in the middle of a trip. That excuse was shattered during a private demonstration for investors. Tesla presented a Model 2 prototype, unadorned, painted completely black, and connected it to a standard supercharger, without experimental equipment or special cables. As the timer started, the unthinkable happened, in 5 minutes, not 50 or 30, the battery reached 80% of its capacity. The room didn't erupt in applause, it sank into an incredulous silence, because the implications were enormous. No new nationwide infrastructure or futuristic stations were needed, the secret lay in the cell's chemistry and a hypercharging interface designed to channel energy through internal nanostructures that prevented heat spikes and anode degradation. These tiny channels, formed using predictive models powered by artificial intelligence, allowed ions to flow like liquid light, bypassing the resistance barriers that plague traditional batteries, thus opening the door to an entirely different era of electric mobility. And most shocking of all, the cell didn't even get hot during ultrafast charging. There was no need for fans, cooling pipes, or additional cooling systems. The energy was absorbed with total efficiency, as if the battery were an electric sponge capable of devouring every electron effortlessly. In surveys conducted after the demonstration, Tesla shared a statistic that left the industry completely silent, more than 65% of consumers who had previously been hesitant to buy an electric vehicle said their biggest fear was charging time. That fear vanished within a day. But what was most astonishing was that it wasn't just about charging speed, it was about endurance. While lithium batteries degrade, fracture, and lose capacity with each demanding cycle, Tesla's aluminum design did the opposite, each charge reinforced the ionic structure, as if the material healed and grew stronger after the exertion. Even after 500,000 complete discharge and recharge cycles, the battery retained 100% of its performance. 
That's equivalent to more than a century of daily use without a single drop in capacity, and this wasn't laboratory theory, it was a result proven in real-life conditions. Tesla subjected these cells to extreme tests simulating the harsh life of urban delivery vehicles, constant hard braking, temperature swings from minus 10 to 90 degrees Celsius, and violent acceleration while pulling a maximum load on long inclines. There was never a power reduction, never any safety protocols were activated due to overheating. The battery seemed to laugh at the stress. Even regenerative braking reached another level. The superconducting aluminum ion channels managed to capture up to 98% of the energy dissipated during braking. In dense urban environments, this meant 20% more range without needing to plug in the car, only recovering energy when stopping. It was as if every stoplight recharged the vehicle, something unthinkable with previous technologies. The concept of, wait, the system is cooling the battery, was completely gone. With this technology, a driver could push the accelerator to the limit, in the scorching desert heat, with a heavy load, and at racetrack speed, and still the power delivery remained constant, no dip, no lag, no electronic restrictions. It was all pure, immediate energy, available whenever it was needed. And unlike other solid-state prototypes that still live in laboratories or cost upwards of $80,000 apiece, this breakthrough was tangible, durable, and ready for mass production. The most underrated element on the planet had broken the supposed physical laws of batteries, and Tesla was already building the future around it. But building that future required more than a chemical discovery, it needed a new industrial battlefield. That's why Tesla not only created a revolutionary cell, but designed a base of operations in the middle of Mexico's industrial heartland, Gigafactory Mexico, the world's first plant dedicated solely to making aluminum ion batteries. Every meter of the facility was designed for speed and efficiency, eliminating slow processes and the excessive water use typical of lithium cells. Using the dry electrode technique, Tesla cut production time in half and saved billions of liters of water annually. There, half a million battery packs would roll off the assembly line each year, occupying only a third of the space required by the old lithium factories. Robots powered by artificial intelligence performed 98% of the tasks, leaving human technicians solely for quality monitoring and streamlined maintenance. This wasn't simple automation, it was an industrial arsenal designed to leave any competitor behind. The first modules completed the assembly cycle and arrived at delivery trucks in less than 72 hours, a pace that broke all logistical rules and left traditional manufacturers stuck with wait times of weeks or even months. The Gigafactory in Mexico wasn't just a production line, it was the first heartbeat of a new era of energy independence. Tesla understood that a single plant couldn't change the course of the planet, so he designed a swarm of smart factories, small nodes of innovation spread across the globe. By 2026, 35 microfactories in 12 countries were already confirmed, and the goal for 2027 was to reach 100 units distributed across 20 nations, each with the capacity to manufacture 1 million battery packs annually. It wasn't centralization, it was a decentralized production network, a global energy hive with Tesla at the center, impossible to block by borders, tariffs, or geopolitical interests. Each microfactory operated as an autonomous organism, coordinated by artificial intelligence systems that adjusted production rates in real time based on local demand. In doing so, Tesla broke the lithium monopoly, weakened the dependence on refineries concentrated in a few hands, and eliminated the transportation costs and delays that had constrained the industry. Energy was no longer a distant, expensive, and conflict-ridden resource. It was local, flexible, and nearly infinite. And this change wasn't felt in corporate reports, it was felt on the asphalt, by turning a key or pressing a pedal. Because when the Model 2 driver presses the accelerator, the response isn't a timid takeoff or an uneven power curve. It's an instantaneous jolt, a surge of torque that erases any trace of lag. Three seconds are all it takes to reach 60 miles per hour, again and again, without pause, without cooling, without performance drops. It doesn't matter whether the car is towing a trailer uphill, taking tight turns, or passing traffic at top speed, the power delivery is continuous, brutal, and precise. Testers speak of an almost telepathic connection with the machine. The Model 2 seems to anticipate every intention, modulating power before the foot touches the pedal, adapting to the driver's style and the terrain in real time. It's not just driving a vehicle, it's becoming one with it, feeling like an extension of your own body, a rocket on wheels capable of making the world seem smaller and the future closer. This isn't just another electric car. It's the first glimpse of a future where energy is abundant, immediate, and reliable like we never imagined. The aluminum ion battery isn't just a technical breakthrough, 
it's the heart of a revolution that's already rolling on the streets, plugging into garages, and opening doors to possibilities that seemed like science fiction just yesterday. With every mile driven, the Model 2 doesn't just transport people, it transports a new vision of the world. Inside the Model 2, the battery ceases to be simply an energy reservoir for the motor and becomes an electric heart capable of powering the entire world. Each pack can unleash up to 2 megawatts of instantaneous power, enough to light 200 homes, keep heavy industrial machinery running for hours, or sustain an entire neighborhood during a blackout. With this advancement, Tesla is no longer just selling a car, it's selling an energy node on wheels, a small, portable reactor that redefines the role of a vehicle in modern society. Bidirectional charging technology transforms the Model 2 into a lifeline. A home, a trailer, even a microcity can draw electricity directly from the car as if it were a mobile power plant. In the near future, every parked Tesla could feed power back into the grid during peak consumption, flattening demand curves, stabilizing local electrical systems, and empowering entire communities. What are today's generating towers and central plants could tomorrow be distributed, decentralized, supported by millions of connected cars. The secret lies in the strength and efficiency of the aluminum ion system, which makes this vision feasible, not a distant dream. Each Model 2 ceases to be a simple means of transportation and becomes vital infrastructure, a constant, flexible, and mobile source of energy, integrated into daily life. The implications are profound and global, capable of breaking the chains of the centralized energy model and ushering in an era where power, literally, moves with us, rewriting the rules of how electricity is generated, stored, and distributed across the planet. For combustion engines, this is the final straw, the point of no return. The Model 2 arrives to bury decades of gasoline supremacy with an unbeatable equation, it costs less than most combustion-powered compacts, accelerates faster than many sports cars, and is cleaner than the most advanced hydrogen vehicles. Against rivals like the BYD Dolphin or the Xpeng G9, it doesn't compete, it pulverizes them. A price under $16,000, a full charge in 5 minutes, 550 miles of range, and thrust worthy of a supercar. The old argument of compromise is shattered. Gas stations look like relics from another century next to a Tesla charger that returns the battery to 100% before you finish your coffee. Maintenance costs are reduced to nothing, fuel costs disappear, and the promise of eternal combustion engines collapses under the weight of a new economic and technological reality. For the first time, electric cars aren't just an eco-friendly or futuristic option, they're the best choice in every sense, price, speed, range, comfort, and sustainability. The end of the combustion engine is no longer a question of if, but rather simply, when the last one will fall. Beneath this transformation lies an even bigger earthquake, the death knell for lithium. Tesla's new aluminum ion batteries bring the cost per kilowatt hour down from the inflated $120 of lithium cells to a figure never seen before, below $40. This brutal price drop is a $10 billion a year blow to the entire lithium industry, an earthquake that Tesla not only anticipates, but proudly announces. But true power isn't just in price, it's in control. Each battery is born with a closed life cycle, designed to be circular, local, and autonomous. Up to 95% of the materials are recycled directly at the site where they were produced. There are no gigantic mines in conflict zones, no geopolitical rifts controlling the flow of minerals, no dependence on a single country or corporations monopolizing the future. China's dominance in lithium refining, which for decades captured more than 80% of the global market, faces an existential threat for the first time. With a network of micro-factories capable of producing millions of aluminum ion packs across the planet, Tesla isn't just making batteries, it's dismantling supply chains and distributing energy power into the hands of many. The lithium era is fading, and from its ashes, a new energy empire, led by Tesla, emerges. This isn't just another vehicle launch, it's a declaration of independence, a shot in a silent war for the future of energy. And as the world watches in amazement as the old order crumbles, one question hangs in the air like an impossible-to-ignore challenge, can the others catch up before they are hopelessly left behind?